Hi, Charlene. Good evening. What are you going to show us tonight? Well, I want to show you the new Juice Plus Tower Garden. This, this garden has been growing for about five weeks. Many of the plants here have been growing from seeds. And you guys, I know, are real, real interested in seeing this, yeah, but the color, I think, is just amazing. Oh, really the color is. Can, and the can you tell us the plants walk down? The variety yeah. of, of fruits and vegetables we have here. This is gourmet lettuce all here. Uh -huh. This is some more gourmet lettuce growing, because after we harvest this, we want some more to be coming up here. You know, in two or three weeks, we right. want to salad again. Right. We have some strawberry plants in here. They're beginning to produce Ooh, little strawberries. Let me see the, can you see a flower in them yet? There's not a flower. The flower just fell off. And now we're making strawberries. Now, how do you do this, Charlene? How, what is the system? Well, there is uh, under here. There is a rock wool uh, that you plant the little seeds into the rock wool, and then once they're once they sprout, which takes three or four days, then you go ahead and transfer them out here to the tower garden. All right. And they think they're up about you know about an inch or so after they sprout, and you, you plant them in the tower garden. Now, some of these this definitely grew from a seed. This is a beefsteak tomato. It's Whoa. about four four weeks old. This was a squash that I actually planted from a plant, but you have to wash all the dirt off. Are there some it in squash here. blossoms yes, visible? Yes, there are right down through here. You can see the new. The oh, new there they squash. are! Look at the beautiful yes. yellow squash Coming blossoms. Right there. And this is a bell pepper, and Ooh. you can see it's going to be going to be making some mm -hmm. some uh, bell peppers here, some yeah. fruit. Some that is so here. beautiful. I also have some broccoli tucked back in here. We have four broccoli plants. This is oh, this is be so this is so coming. amazing. The colors are so rich. Now, can, what I hear water trickling. Can you yes. tell everybody that's gathered around, ooing and eyeing, how well, this is fed? Well, the water fed? actually is up here, and it, it trickles down in, into the tower garden itself and feeds all of the roots back in there, the nutrients that it needs, and of course the water. So we don't have, we save, we save about 90% of the water that you would normally be using in a, in a regular garden. It takes only 10% of the water that you'd be using. How and much of course, seeds do you put down? Uh, it depends on what you're putting down. I put three or four seeds, four or five seeds into the lettuce, but there's only one or two that go in for a tomato or cucumber or something like that. The cu there's cucumber trailing mm -hmm. down over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Now if basil here. Basil? Or, oh, look, look at how luminescent the basil is. It's really reflecting. I have a question for Charlene. Yes. All right, yes. Oh, hi, Jenna. What's your question? <laughs> what do your grandchildren think of the Tower Garden? Oh, they, they think it's like a toy. I mean, they just love it. They want to put one in their room because they like the noise. They like the sound. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, have they been able to harvest water. anything yet? Well, Tripp came up and wanted to pick, he wanted to pick some of this and eat it, but we, he picked some of this instead. I'll let him eat a piece of lettuce, you know, oh. but he's really, when you have it and it's available to the kids, um, you know, they can come right up and, and take things and, yeah. and eat them. You know, they really, once the tomatoes start to come, and there are little tomatoes forming back here. If you Ooh. Want yeah, let's go see some baby tomatoes. They're just little bitty, little And bitty after ones. you point them out, can you talk about what feeds these plants? These are just little tomatoes starting now. I don't know if you can see it because the lights. Oh, I, no, it's perfect for the camera. Okay, the awesome. Tomatoes are visible. This, How? Right, this is right here where you feed it. All right, oh, you good. Put, we're on the you, right side. You put the water in here. And then what, ha what actually gives the plants their nutrition? I have... Um, we have the tonic. We have two different kinds of tonic. Um, there's tonic A and tonic B, and you just put it, you have a little measuring thing, and you put, um, you know, milliliters of the tonic and All right. mix them together. Now, isn't there an analogy about solution A and B not coming, not together, coming together until the moment? Just That's like epoxy right. glue, it makes magic when you combine solution right. one you, and two. You uh, measure this out, you pour it in the water, in, into... I, I do. I think it's 100 milliliters that you pour into five gallons of water. Alrighty. And then, and so then this is and just four s seeds of each one that you put in here. And yeah. It, or if this it's is a, five weeks old. Yes, it's, it's about five yeah, weeks old. Wow. Believe it or not. Yeah. And so you you can harvest right away. And once you harvest the lettuce, then it grows again two more times from this. So through a spring again. summer, you might get as many as uh, four, two to four growing seasons out of your right. tower garden. Exactly. Oh. exactly. So is it going to get much bigger than this? Like the, well, the green right? Well, the tomatoes and things will. And then I will add another cage. Um, I have a tomato yeah, cage us. right here. Mm -hmm. This one. Layer. Oh, isn't that something? Uh -huh. So you put the bigger, the I'll ring around so it supports they're gonna it. Ray, they'll grow they'll up into up this and, here, mm -hmm. right? And they're little tendrils, mm -hmm. so attached. Exactly. Wow. Right. Yeah. And that so, isn't there another piece too? You, you can, can you can get uh, an addition. There's right. two. You can get two more additions to be able to get um, four more net pots here and four more there. So there's eight more places to grow All right. plants. 
that you can add on top of this. All, All right. Let me see if there's different areas where you put them for each. Yeah, plate. and that's I think that's something that some people have had to kind of learn. In the beginning, it made sense to me to put the things that are going to be trailing down at the bottom. Some people have planted their tomatoes up at the top, and now they've got all this tomato growing up here. So, it, you know, it is a little strategic, you know, where you plant things. Your well, bigger plants, so, you put down. You yes, start right. From the yes, with trail, and the tomatoes are here. Vince, we have a friend whose patio is it, the vines of the cantaloupe are crawling around her patio, and she's harvested cantaloupe.